How to repair an ice cream roll machine. Repairs to the ice cream roll machine. The pan can't freeze evenly. Even though the engine performance is good, the compressor has returned to freezing. Indicates that the pan is damaged, namely the loss of the copper pipe in the pan. The freon pressure is also in accordance with the engine's needs. So now we have to remove the pan and fix it. First, we have to separate the pan from the machine body, making it easier for us to repair the pan. By the way, this machine is factory assembled. Specification. Refrigerant is R22. Capacity is 1.5 pk. Power is 850 watts. Before removing the pan, don't forget to disconnect the inlet pipe and outlet pipe. And don't forget to always clean the workplace. Now the pan can be removed. Before continuing the tutorial, it would be a good idea if you click like, comment, and subscribe to increase my enthusiasm for creating content. After looking closely, it turned out that this pan had been repaired by an inexperienced technician. Look, how can he insert plasticine between the pipes? Plasticine, or clay, is a material that cannot conduct cold. This is a serious mistake. We must immediately dismantle it. Look, it's full of plasticine inside, with colors like a rainbow. Let's start the execution of dismantling this very unreasonable pan. It's very satisfying. If you're bored, just skip it. Now we separate the copper pipe with the pan. And don't forget to clean the plasticine. See, it's so easy for the copper pipe to detach from the pan. Which is why the pan isn't completely frozen. Now we start to cut the bolts on the pan, so it's easy to clean. Then we smooth the surface of the bolt that was cut earlier. Then, we sand the surface of the pan with a grade to 140 flap disc. Smooth the surface until there is no dirt from remaining plasticine. Then polish the surface of the pan with a stainless steel polishing tool. Once the surface of the pan is clean and shiny, we continue with the next process.
First, we cut the copper pipe to suit the size of the pan. Then we equalize the cuts from both sides. The length of the pipe must be the same, it should not be different in the slightest, because it will affect the flow of Freon. Then we arrange the copper pipe like this. And we also install the U-Bend. If it is arranged, we will try to install the frame for the Poofoam mold. And after marking the location of the input and output pipes, then we install the inlet and outlet pipes. Then we cast it with aluminum until all sides are covered. Then we try to install the frame. After we install the frame, make sure it is neat and looks precise so that it is easy to glue. Then we glue the frame gaps with silicone sealant. Smooth and spread the sealant using your fingers, making sure there are no gaps that have not been filled with sealant. Lastly, don't forget to put sealant on the input and output pipe holes. After that, prepare the poo foam. Also prepare a plastic bag to mix the poo foam. Then pour liquid into the plastic bag. And pour liquid be into a plastic bag. Tie the plastic bag. And shake the liquid that was added earlier so that it is mixed evenly. Then pour into the pan. Pour little by little. Then cover the pan. So that the poo foam can expand evenly and densely. Put weight on the top of the cover. So that the cover is not lifted by the foam. Wait 15 to 25 minutes for the foam to harden. After 25 minutes, you can lift the lid, open it slowly. Then repeat the process until the pan is evenly covered with foam. Finally, trim the shape of the foam, so it looks nice using a knife. Next, we attach the pan back to the machine body. First, we assemble the exit pipe. Then we connect the inlet pipe. If both pipes are connected, it's time to vacuum the air into the pan. The way to know that the vacuum process has been successful is by lighting the pump on fire. If the fire is still burning like this, it indicates that there is still a lot of air trapped in the pan. If the fire is no longer burning, and if it is ignited, it does not burn, then the vacuum process has been completed. Watch the next video part 2. Because of my limitations in editing videos, if this video helps, Please like, comment, and subscribe.